Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release. 2019 Panini Limited Football 14 box. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting to the action. There it is right here. On Wednesday the 5th, 14 box, pick your team one, Limited Football. There's everyone right here. I guess I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this right here next to me. Where did my little paper stand go? Well, there were some number block spots. and That's in a separate video. If you want to see the results of that randomizer right there, you can see that right over here. I'll keep this to my left or my right right over here. Let's see if I can... All right, so here's the fresh case right here, 2019 Limited Football. It's confusing when they put all these different years on there, but just have to pay attention to that right over here. All right, so there it is, sealed case. Let's pop this open. Let's see what we got. So we've got seven boxes on the left and right side to make 14. They're kind of in wider boxes this year. Were they always this one? I don't, I don't remember. But two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. We got Daniel Jones on the front right here, 2019 Limited. That's what we're looking for. Draft day signatures, jerseys held at the, uh, at the draft, on-card rookie patch autograph per box on average. So there you go. Chad, Nick Jaspi is still in the air coming back from Dallas. So I think we're going to have to fill up that Crown Royale straight up today. I don't think he's going to be in the office today. In the office? The shot today. I think Nick deserves a day off, don't you think, Chad? Uh, the, what is going on in that? What, what link isn't working? Your link's not working? Well, I'm kind of in the middle of something, Wayne. Why isn't that link working? It should. It has the HTTP in front of it and everything. I don't know. People know where the website is. They'll figure it out. I'm confident in them. I believe. So it looks like there should be all these are all base cards right here. Everything ships. There we go. All right. And we got Lamar Jackson, 37 out of 75. And behind him is a Drew Locke, 59 out of 199. Drew Locke, rookie phenom, a relic. There you go. That'll be for the Denver Broncos. That's going to go to a number block spot. Denver 9 will be for Fred O. There you go, Fred. And we got Nick Bosa. 45 out of 99. I kind of like they have, they have this extra sort of refractory layer above it, if you can see that. I think that's different from previous years. All right, so that goes to the Niners, goes to Lee with the Niners. And back here is Darius Slayton, jersey and autograph, 23 out of 25. Right on the card, nice low number, Evan with the New York Football Giants.
All right, there's my guy Tyrell Williams right here. We may get someone on the other side of him in the draft. Next box. Matt Stubblefield, what's going on, man? Something you noticed yesterday. Nick and Pete Alonzo look alike. All the hits are on the bottom. No base cards on them. On this particular box. Maybe they kind of do. Although we've, we've seen them in the same room together, so confirm they are two different people. All right, there's Jabril Peppers, 44 out of 75 for the Giants. And there is Sterling Shepard, 33 out of 49, limitless relic. That is for uh, Evan again in the New York Football Giants. And behind J.J. Watt is another Giant, DeAndre Baker. 20 out of 199. This is full of, full of giants. All right, and behind Amari Cooper is Jarrett Stidham. Six out of ten. Nice low number there. For the Pats, Jesse with the Patriots. Is this is this the future Tom Brady? Is he the new quarterback, or is Tom Brady stay? I guess I have to admit, even I was a little fooled by the Tom Brady social media post. It seemed to have him in the, in the tunnel. It seemed very mysterious, like he was he was being vague about it, intentionally vague about his future. Turned out to be a Hulu commercial. That was it. Just a Hulu commercial. So, got him. I got got. I think a lot of people got got. Next sort of stack here. There you go. There's your, there's your Super Bowl MVP. And we've got Rashad Jones to 49. And he reveals a Evan Ingram. I guess this is all Giants. 41 out of 49. Limitless relic. Another one. Evan with Evan. Hey, he's he just trolling, Wayne. I agree. Yeah, he was just trolling everybody. I think we all got got. I don't remember anybody in the chat the day he released that post saying, oh, that's definitely a Hulu ad or that's definitely related to the Su a Super Bowl ad. No one said that. Ooh, five out of five material monikers, five out of five D.D. Westbrook with a piece of a Jaguar in there. Rawr. That's our first train whistle of the day. Where's I don't have a bell here. Where's my bell? It's in, my, it's in the other studio. Jaguars, Colton, wait. All aboard! Woo -woo. Alright, and 
Back here, DK Metcalf. Jersey and on-card autograph, 6 out of 49 for the Seahawks. Paul Chavez with the Seahawks. Um, DK Metcalf had a pretty great season. They couldn't run, he couldn't run routes, they said. But I think the Seahawks really found like a handful of routes that he could just run and be somewhat unstoppable. And then, you know, he's a good target when there's the inevitable scramble drill. All right, next box that Russell Wilson will run. The, uh, the Seahawks can get get a running game going, right? Get an offensive line, get a, get a, uh, get a, get a Will Disley going healthy. Got points back there. Seahawks could be pretty pretty good. They were they were pretty good last season. You know, I don't think they're too far away. Sean, what's going on, man? Yeah, I saw that today too. That that was some news. I mean, I know we're in the middle of a football break, but there was big baseball news yesterday. My Dodgers getting getting Mookie Betts, and there's some other related trades all around there. And we heard that Jock Peterson, in a separate deal, went to the Angels. That's Sean's Angels. But this morning I realized that, that Ross Stripling went there, too. I like Ross Stripling. I was, I was thinking the Angels need pitching. They don't need – well, they got a Cal, Cole Calhoun replacement, but I didn't think they need the – there's Bryce Love, 75. It's for Matt Johnson, the Redskins. I know, right? A live auto from DK Metcalf, Paul. But I guess getting the chicken strip, the raw stripling, makes sense. I think he's got a he's got a decent podcast, Sean. If you're into that sort of thing, there's a one of one Mike Evans, and behind him is a Debo Samuel, eighty seven out of one ninety nine. Debo will go to Lee, and the one of one base card. Go to Daniel and the Buccaneers. There you go. Daniel. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And behind AJ Green are the points. We'll randomize these to one person in the break, winner take all on the points. Next box. Yeah, Jimmy, injuries, I think, really, really set back the Seahawks a lot. Losing Carson, right. Josh Gordon could have been a huge, an extra receiver for him. There's a book, nice. Extra receiver for Russell Wilson after Disley went down. But, but I, th I think if they kind of shore up that offensive line, get some guys healthy, maybe add some defensive depth or something like that then I think they're uh, I think they're gonna be a little more dangerous than people think next year Got another one of one coming up all right there's Tyrell Williams and he reveals a jersey and auto, Andy Isabella. That goes to Aaron Pettit and the Cardinals. Last spot mojo. He had double last spot mojo. He had the Titans as well. So last spot mojo strikes again. There's Miles Garrett, 69. Nice. Out of 99. Reveals a Lamar Jackson, your MVP. 19 out of 25. Ravens. That goes to Patrick Davis and the Baltimore Ravens. B. Moore. He is a stadium star.
And the plate, is that going to reveal the team? No. There's the plate. Uh, if there's a big logo there, you might be able to figure it out. Deshaun Watson. Texans. Jim Morin with the Texans. There you go, Jim. All aboard the Big Head Express. Woo woo. And your book is going to be a bangle. Round one, 11th overall. Jonah Williams, jersey and autograph. These are pretty cool. Draft day signatures. Two out of 27. Now, these jerseys right here are from the draft, which I think it's specifically from the draft, which I think is really neat. That's awesome. I think that's really cool. That goes to the Bengals. That'll be for Serenity. All right, next box. I feel like that's something that we're going to see more and more of in the future over the over the next handful of years is seeing more event specific relics in here. Next one. And we've got plenty of this brand new limited football in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Aaron Donald, 7 out of 99, revealing a stadium star, Jason Witten, 1 out of 99. That'll be for Jared and the Cowboys. Is that Luminance, Sean? Or they did draft day hats? No, no. They did draft day autographs from Luminance. What do they do draft day hats? Encased football, maybe? 65 out of 99, Dalvin Cook for the Vikings. And that reveals, looks like a bolt. That is for Connor. That's Easton Stick. Rookie Phenom's Relic, 137 out of 199. So far, you're QB1 at the moment. It was kind of weird. You would think that they would give Philip River some sort of... I don't know. There's Keenan Allen. Revealing a Jason Kelsey. Material monikers. 16 out of 25. Looks like... Uh, the Kelsey, Kelsey's mom and dad pretty happy. They're, they're two of their sons... I think that's it, just Jason and Travis, right? They both have won Super Bowls. All right. Second half, almost coming up. Almost done with the first half. Good luck, everyone. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Brand new release.
There's Evan Ingram. And he reveals an on-card autograph of Jared Siddham. 182 out of 199. Jesse with the Patriots. Oh, right. Sorry. The Eagles are a number block team. Patriots purchased straight up by uh, Jesse. And Eagles, number block six. That'll be for Krista Hart. Ninety-four out of ninety-nine. Bobby Wagner, Seahawks. And there's Darius Slayton, rookie phenoms relic. One forty-four out of one at ninety-nine. New York Football Giants. Evan Levine. And behind Tyron Matthew is Jawan Winfrey, 28 out of 99. Denver is a number block team. Denver 8 is for Diane. All right, second half. What did, uh, I don't think I've seen everybody, at least on air, since the uh, Super Bowl. What did everyone think about the Super Bowl? I watched it here at the shop. And uh, first three quarters seemed a little boring, at least for a neutral fan like myself. But then it started unraveling unfortunately for Niners fans unraveling for the Niners and was all roses for the Chiefs fourth quarter was I guess exciting if you were supporting the Chiefs or if you're a neutral fan like myself Jabril Peppers reveals a Benny Snell Jr. Snell yeah 8 out of 75, two-color patch and autograph for Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain, and the Steelers. After the second interception, Frank was, uh, was soiling his pants, you see. Yeah, I think he had big financial interest in the, in, the, in the Chiefs. There's Larry Fitzgerald revealing a Devlin Hodges. Duck Hodges, 5 out of 5. Another one for Steel Curtain. A train whistle for Michael Colucci. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Paul says, as a Seahawks fan, glad to see the wheels fall off of San Francisco. 70 out of 99, Minka Fitzpatrick. 10 out of 99, Relic, Christian McCaffrey. Panthers, that'll go to John McCall. You know... As most of you know, I enjoy putting a little bit of financial interest in various teams over the over the year, and I was convinced all season long that the Niners were overrated, and they uh, they proved me dead wrong until the Super Bowl. Stuck to my guns and had financial interest on the Chiefs, but. I said this in the middle of the season, or maybe towards the end, and some of you may remember this, is, is that uh, I couldn't shake the feeling, especially with, if you watch like Jimmy Garoppolo, I just couldn't shake the feeling that the, that the Niners were just this year's Rams. I couldn't shake that feeling. All 
All right, there's Evan Ingram. And speaking of the Rams, there's Daryl Henderson. 42 out of 199. Two color patch and autograph for Anthony D and the Ramley. There's Tyron again, Super Bowl champion. Revealing a Tyreek Hill Super Bowl champion. 32 out of 35. That'll be for the Chiefs. That'll be for Brad and the Chiefs. Ah, TJ saying Kirk Douglas passed away at 103. There's Deshaun Watson, 75, for the Texans. And we got stadium star Ezekiel Elliott, 35 out of 99. Cowboys, they got to start paying some guys. Dak Prescott's got to get paid. Are they going to do that? Mari Cooper, I think, has to get paid. Are they going to pay him? Shanahan, I think everyone remembers, you know, could be blamed for the Falcons' breakdown in the Super Bowl, letting the Patriots back into it. And then he had the lead again and let the Chiefs back into it. Is it fair or unfair to criticize him for the loss? Really, it's the defense's fault, right? Maybe it's a little unfair. Marlon Mack to 75, 36 out of 75. Revealing a Hunter Renfro, silver and black patch, 50, 15 out of 25. Going to my Raiders, John McCall with the Raiders. Joe Pete, what's going on? How goes it? And we got Caleb Wilson to 199 going to Aaron Pettit and the Cardinals. True. Zero points in the fourth quarter of two Super Bowls as, a, as the primary offensive play caller. Not a good look, right? All right, and... We got a Tony Pollard, three color jersey and autograph. Seventy four out of two forty nine. Jared and the Cowboys. They did, Joe. My hands did have a nice little day off yesterday. Although there is some series one on the site, JaspiesCaseBreaks dot com. All right, four boxes to go. Why were the Cardinals one of the more expensive teams on this break? Why do you think, Frank? I'll give you a couple guesses. Perhaps, perhaps a uh, certain quarterback that was maybe drafted number one overall that also recently one offensive rookie of the year. Just one guess, maybe? Rob, Rob, only one guess. Remember, these prices are generally driven by, by rookies. Or maybe, maybe Frank's just toying with us. Did he get robbed, Jacob? I, f I feel like they just give it to quarterbacks just regardless. Russell Wilson reveals a Ryan Finley. Two-color patch and autograph. 154 out of 199. 
Joe P's offended by Frank's question. Bengals serenity with the that's the disrespect we that that the uh, that the West Coast gets. Joe P that Western time zones get. We got Julian Love forty six out of forty nine. Julian Love for Evan and the Giants. And then from Julian Love to Julian Edelman to 99. And 8 out of 10, two-color patch, Marquez Valdez Scanley. Ron Hollins with the Packers. This goes into a slightly thicker top loader, maybe 130. I heard I was listening to some... NFL related podcasts as of late and whatnot. I think the the Cardinals actually might be a little better than than people may think next season. I think that um, I think that. Uh, I don't know. Quarterback's so important to each NFL team, right? If you get a coach and a front office and the quarterback that they want, they can tailor their team to that quarterback. And I think I think that's that's really important for for long term success. You know, and I think someone I think brought up this maybe NFL Network or something like that brought this up because they were like that's what Andy Reid did. They had an opportunity to get Mahomes. They got him, you know, and then just reworked the offense specifically around him. And when everyone's on the same page like that, it, it's it's important in football. In basketball, you know, if you're if you're in the NBA, there's only so many people on that roster. One player can change the fortunes of your entire team, right? But obviously, there are a lot of moving parts in the NFL. So to put all that together, I think it's a good start for the. You know, I'm glad they didn't get Kingsbury and then make him, like, use Rosen for a season even though he was never going to want Rosen, blah, 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 blah. And that would have just put put things back another year. And You know, so there he is right there, Mahomes. All right. Damian Harris, four-color patch. Yeah, I remember you showing me those stats. Well, I mean... I figured it was going to be Kyler even before you showed me the stats, Sean. It's generally quarterbacks, but... But, yeah. I figured. Jesse Triplett with the Patriots. I think if maybe if Kyler was healthy, maybe if the Raiders went to the playoffs, that could, maybe that could have been a little different. There's a redemption back here behind A.J. Boye. There's Amari Cooper, 99. And it's not like... Not like Josh Jacobs really put together like a Saquon Barkley type season. There is Terry McLaurin, Matt Johnson. Are the Redskins closer than we think? I mean, this guy's pretty exciting. You know, he's played, he's got some chemistry with Haskins. They played together in college. And the redemption behind A.J. Bouye is going to be, ooh, Ring of Honor autograph, Silver Spotlight, Ladanian Tomlinson. This has this is not going to be like Jets edition of Ladanian Tomlinson, right? Do I, do, I mean, I might as well look it up. Almost ninety nine percent sure that it's got to be the Chargers. In fact, I would be annoyed if it wasn't the Chargers. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy talk. Tomlinson, Ring of Honor, plus parallels, Chargers. So that'll go to Connor and the Bolts.
Um, for those of you who know how to read, if you're a reader, you may enjoy a book called Tomlinson Hill. Look that up. It's about Ladanian Tomlinson, and it's about history. All right, two more boxes to go, and Frank's saying that, that limited two is uh, down to two. Down to four teams left. Is there hopefully no number block or anything like that? No, no number block. Break two is actually down to five teams left, everybody. And there's no number block, so I think we can do it. I think we can do it straight up. Yeah, why isn't Tomlinson signing his cards, Joe P? I feel like he's got a pretty comfortable job at NFL Network as an in-studio analyst. Can't sign cards between between breaks. Got a pretty cool. He's right here in LA. Maybe I should go. Should I go visit him, Joe? I know where this. I got. I have a friend who works at the works at the NFL Network. I should just take this redemption over to the NFL Network. Get my friend who's a producer out there for. One of the fantasy shows. And I should be like, hey, where, where's LT? He needs to sign these cards. Limited Ink, Christian Kirk, to 15. Bring it to him. I'll bring the redemption to him. It won't be the actual card. I'll be like, LT, yo. There's Christian Kirk, Aaron Pettit, Limited Ink. Aaron Donald reveals another DK Metcalf, number to 49. Which one was the first one, number two, Paul? Was the first one numbered? This might be a slightly lower number. A little more color in this one. There you go, DK Metcalf. And there's Vaughn Miller to 99. And he reveals a Joey Bosa Stadium Star, 74. Out of 99, going to the Chargers. That's going to be for Connor. And that Vaughn Miller, 88, goes to Diane and the number 8. And the final box. It looks like limited 2 is down to 3. Great. Jaspiescasebreaks.com was where it is. Um, I'm actually going to take a quick, quick five after this break to maybe scarf down a little bit of food just to recharge a little bit, and then uh, hopefully it'll be sold out by then, and we'll dive into another case of limited football. And now that we got a good look at. This limited football, I'm sure we can go a little bit more quickly through the next break as well, so we'll have time to do even more limited football tonight, among other things on jazbeescasebreaks.com, whatever, whatever it feels. I think everything that's on the site is good to go today. I think we do have that Series 1 in the shop, for those of you who are interested in that. Matt Stafford reveals a Riley Ridley, two-color patch, an autograph, 3 out of 25. All right, Ron, I'll see you. Have a nice dinner. What's for dinner? Bears. That'll be go. That's gonna. That'll be going to. That'll be going to. That's not one of my pirate. I'll be going to Jack B. Yar. That B for Jack Yar. Captain Jack. All right. Next one is Justice Hill. Two color patch and autograph. One seventy six out of one ninety nine. Patrick Davis with the Ravens. Did Collegiate sell out, Frank? I think there's a cello pack break we have to do there, so maybe you can buy some spots there, try to win spots in that Collegiate. All right, and the final card, the final hit is Nikhil Harry. 86 out of 99. Nope. 
66 out of 69? No, probably 69. Nice. Out of 99. <laughs> that goes to Jesse and the Patriots. And there you have it. Limited looks pretty solid this year. A handful of train whistles, all cards ship. Nice clean design that we've come to know and love from Limited Football. We got a nice draft day book out of there. So a lot of cool things, boys and girls. So thanks for filling this first one up. Now let's go back to the list. And everyone from Aaron Pettit down to Matt has a shot at the points. Oh, and if a, I, I guess I should do this by team because if a number block spot gets it, then I'll have to randomize the number block spots and see who gets it from there. So there could be, but we'll use the same dice roll. Let's roll it and randomize 11 times. Come on, ram.org. No one likes 11, too. It's too many for points. Ten and eleven the final time. Team on top is Miami Dolphins. My Dolphins, Ron Hollins with a little consolation points right there. All right, thanks everyone. That was a brand new limited football. 14 box picker team one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.